This shit, man, keep it clean, Ray. Coming back with another vid. This time, I want to talk about my top five beaters in my collection. Let's go. All right, before we talk about the beaters, uh, I just want to show off my new cop. New t-shirt, Congress, local foot locker. Check it out. Nothing on the back, Nike t-shirt. Says, wake up, change the world, repeat, Nike. That's what I like. Like, I be wanting to buy other stuff. Sometimes I gotta stick to my guns, and I gotta get my Nike shirts, I gotta get my Ralph Lauren. Certain stuff I just gotta have in my collection, man, because at the end of the day, I know I'm gonna get a good product. And uh, yeah, that's a dope shirt. Uh, don't know what shoe I'm gonna wear with it yet. I wanted the same blue in the bio hat. I'll check that out later. But anyway, let's talk about these beaters, man. Let's talk about these beaters. Uh, my first one, first up, uh, I just caught these not too long ago. And uh, I since I've caught them, I basically be wearing them like three, four times a week. That's the Nike Overbreak SP. Uh, over, Overbreak. The Mars Yard. Yep. So right now, I can say wearing a shoe is a comfortable shoe. I enjoy it. Um, styling purposes, I just wear it, man. I just wear it. I don't really get caught up into styling these because I'm actually just wearing them, just walking around and going places in them. Shoot, and I think I wear them to work from time to time as well, so I'm just wearing them. And I'm actually enjoying them. Uh, I would love to cop another pair of these actually because I gotta get these by another good couple of months and they'll be a little beat at the rate I'm going. We'll see though, we'll see though. Um, look at this. The bottom, um, of course, some of it rubbing off. You know, you got this soft react foam. But like I said, it feels so great, man. And uh, yeah, this is like my, this is like number five on the list. I'm ranking them too. So far, this is number five. Number five so far is beater. And the reason why this one is number five because I just got it. And the other four I've had for a little time now. So that's the only reason why I'm ranking these at number five. This has nothing to do with the looks when it comes to this particular shoe being ranked. Now, as far as the other four, yeah, it might be a combination of looks and, uh, or whatever. We'll see. You know, I don't feel what I'm talking about. Um, all right, number four. These things are beat. Um, as you can see, see the bottoms. I, mean, I kind of wore these out. Uh, I done styled in them. I done worked out in them. Obviously, I run in them. It's like the best running shoe I've ever worn. Uh, this is the Nike, Re Nike React. Nike Epic React Phantom. Uh, what is it, Cody Hudson? I think that's it. But yeah, um, I, I've been actually looking for another pair of these um, at a good rate because um, I got this one at a good rate, and um, it's it's one of them shoes, man. I just keep in the collection. Um, matter of fact, even though I'm in water bottoms, I actually ran these the other day, um, and, and and it still felt good. You know, <laughs> bottoms are worn out. But yeah, that's coming in at number four, man. Um, Coming in at number three, this is a shoe I actually wore on my birthday a couple of years back when it first dropped. And it's the Nike um, Vapor Max 2 Fly Knit. This is the um, Race of Blue Colorway. Yeah, the Race of Blue Colorway. And this is another shoe that I actually been looking at doubling up on. It's like these beaters, man. I try to. I'm like, dang, man, I want to double up, but I really just want to catch them at a price. I don't really want to catch them at a um, gouging price. So I'm going to start looking at the market again. And um, yeah, I've worn these, comp 
pull it out and see the bottom. Um, let me see. Like on this one, it's kind of ripped on the tag. I done ripped it. Um, the left shoe, same thing. I don't know if you can see. Let me answer that. So you can see it, though. Yeah, I done ripped it on here, too, as well. The tongue. Um, worn, worn out. Worn these things out. Just hold on to them. Uh, wore these actually the other day as well, just on a humbug. I was like, man, I ain't worn my beaters in a minute. Um, so yeah. Woo! Yeah, I need another pair of these too. Man, I'm not messing around and get all my beaters back, man. But if I get them back, I ain't gonna beat them down. I'm kinda Try to uh, let them hold up a little better. Um, so yeah, that's coming in at number three. Uh, coming in at number two, man. Um, you know what? We ain't even gonna go two. We just gonna go one A and one B. That's how we gonna do this thing. And um, oh man, um, I, I can't remember the name exactly. Really. I'm trying. I gotta remember the name, but. This was, man, like I, I've done everything in these shoes. I've styled in them, I've um, worked out in them, I've ran in them, I've cut grass in them, I still got them. Um, and the only reason why I started cutting grass in them because on the sole, when the paint started chipping away, I was just like, man, it kind of took away from the shoe a little bit, in my opinion. Uh, I wish Nike would retro these back. This is actually probably a top five Air Max, in my opinion, this particular colorway. For me, my preference. Um, dope shoe, Air Max 90. Um, I want to say what is the Premium Comfort EM or something like that. Um, I'll put, I'll put the uh, shoe title on the um, bed. Um, I, I, I don't know if I still got the shoe box to this one. But yeah, dope shoe. It's on everything. And that's how to these things are still comfortable too for some reason. Like good in the toe box. Oh, it's, it's soft. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have no real issues. You can go true to size and on um, these right here as well. But yeah, man, this is look my elbow is still tight on these. Like my elbow ain't even kinda of, ain't even on um, busted or nothing like that. So yeah, Nike, please retro these. Or if I can find a 12 and a half in these or 13, uh, it'd be brand new. I want them brand new. Dead stop, brand new, not even worn. Um, because as you see, I got a pair that's worn. But yeah, I love to have these. And um, that was 1B. So you got 1A. Oh yeah. Every time I wear these shoes, people try to figure out, man, what you got on your feet, man? What are those? And then when they see the heel tag, they see the beater sign. And um, these are some beaters for me. <laughs> I haven't ran in them. The only thing I've done is um, styled them and just wear them just every day casually. And um, I think I might have lifted weights in them because it didn't require me doing no run. I never tested these out as a running shoe. Probably never will. Uh, one of the most comfortable shoes in nationality. This is a size 12. And I actually wore a size 12 probably all the way up to about 2012, 2013. And then for some reason, my foot moved, got wider or longer. I don't know what happened, but, or they cut shoes smaller. I don't know. But this is actually a 12 and it fit perfect. Um, this is the Adidas um, Twin Stripe Advance. And I want to say this is the multi blue colorway. I hope that's the right title, but I believe that's what it was. Uh, I don't know what it is. 2018? I want to say I got these in 2000. What? The year I got them, I remember wearing them to the McDonald's All American game to see, um, to see 
Zion Williamson and RJ Baird and Cam Reddish and all those guys. So I do remember that I wore these when I, when I went to the game. So I want to say that was 2018. But yeah. And these are my beaters. My beaters. Um, of course, I've, I've had some Jordan 1 and some Beatles, but, you know, uh, Jordan 1 is not my favorite shoe as a Beatle. Uh, I actually kind of like these type of shoes as Beatles, kind of like my Jordan 1's clean. Um, some people love them when they're worn and beat the hell up. Um, some of them are cool when they beat the hell up. All of them don't look good beat the hell up. That's just in my opinion. Um, but, yeah. These shoes, I don't know, they still look good when I'm wearing them, some of them. I think these still look somewhat good. Um, I know these don't look good. They just, for whatever use, uh, I know these don't look good at the rate they in. They just for whatever use at this point. Um, I don't even know, man. I, I can't even tell you these things so beat down, man. Like, they ripped up in certain areas, so. I don't know, man, but I love to have a a brand new pair of each. Um, Y'all already know what time to do with these bad babies. So, yeah. Uh, at some point, they'll look like these other shoes. Um, but but these actually been holding up a lot better. You know, I got a couple of little, you know, you got a couple of little areas that's a little done for. You know, a little done for. I'm gonna look like somebody, um, Put this cigar out on my shoe right here, man. I ain't feeling it, man. But, I still love the shoe. Like I said, if I, all five of these shoes, man, I love to double up on them. Um, but I'm not going to double up on a ridiculous price because there are other dope shoes that's constantly coming out. And I'm trying to get my hands on some of them, at least. Not all of them, some of them. The ones that actually fit my style, my personality, and things that I like. Um, don't really care for people hyping up shoes and not wearing them. Wear your shoes, man. Enjoy them. If you're just a collector and you're looking to cash out one day, hey, man, I understand. But um, that ain't my MO. I like to wear my stuff. Holla at you, man, man. Just keep it clean, great. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. Straight cash, my money direct. I like. Big bills, power, respect. I like them thick hips, pretty and all.